Reduced acidosis. Fatigue is where the athlete cannot continue the exercise intensity. Your metabolic activity is generating CO2. CO2 is dissociating into hydrogen and NHCO3 minus. Now, we covered this yesterday with the instructors. I want to do it again because I think it's important that you understand it. So basically, what our whole aim is, increase carbon dioxide and drop SpO2 percent. That's what we're doing. It's a hypercapnic hypoxic response. You increase carbon dioxide, this forms carbonic acid, and this dissociates into hydrogen ion and HCO3 minus, which is your bicarb. So here is your buffer. This is your acid, this is your, your base. When you lower blood oxygen saturation, there's a reduced amount of oxygen delivery to the tissues. Now the tissues are getting hypoxic. The hydrogen ion coming from the tissue isn't getting oxidized to form, to, it's not getting neutralized by the oxygen. So basically, the hydrogen ion, because of an insufficiency of oxygen, oxygen isn't neutralizing the hydrogen ion. When there's a deficiency of oxygen, the hydrogen ion then is associating it with py pyruvic acid to form lactic acid. Lactic acid then is dissociating pretty rapidly into hydrogen ion and lactate. Okay, we're dropping the SpO2. We're getting a buildup of hydrogen ion here, which is not getting oxidized. So we're getting a hydrogen ion from this effect here, and we're getting a hydrogen ion from this effect here. This is what the hypercapnic hypoxic response is doing, that it's increasing hydrogen ion quite significantly. You're exposing the body to high hydrogen ion, so the buffering capacity is increasing to adapt to that.